Yes, sir. Just to remind folks, Lisa Ann, in your first game, you put away Brian Baumgartner and Tim Simons in the last clue of Triple Jeopardy. It's crazy. You know, I, I can't believe it. I thought for sure they would win. You're the only one of these three with a runaway game. Final Jeopardy was moot because you had already put the other two away. And nobody told me. You, you rats did not tell me. I was sitting there doing math for a good five minutes. That's not our job. That's, okay. the, that's your math to figure out. <laughs> so you did not know in the moment. You figured it out during the break. Yes. That's correct. And you realized, wait, I can't be caught. Yeah, I can't. And then I, I considered, like, just betting it all. And then I remembered that that's insane. And I put down zero like a good girl and won some money for my charity. And here you are. Remind us who you're playing for in Celebrity Jeff. I am playing for the Entertainment Community Fund. They are the people that help out all of our industry communities. SAG after and WGA and IOXI, all the different unions. If you need any money to help with your bills, They've got housing for people, so whatever I can do to help them, I'm there. Thank you, Lisa. Mira Sorvino from Los Angeles, but previously New York and New Jersey, I hear. Also an actress and a UN Goodwill ambassador. Now, you also had a very dramatic triple jeopardy in your game. You were behind sportscaster Peter Schrager. You needed a late daily double and then the last two clues of the game to stay away from him, and you got them all. I did. Were you aware of the scores, or were you, uh, is that just too much to think about? No, I was aware of them, I mean, but I also knew that the final round could change everything, and I was very aware of what he had, and I was planning on him betting everything, right. so I, you know, I bet almost everything I had. I was a little ahead of that, I bet almost everything. We all knew it, so, um... But you still made the right wager. That's impressive Jeopardy play. Like, uh, it's like I'm seeing professionals play, right? <laughs> I think we might have to have you play against regular Jeopardy players. We're just super yeah. confused and nervous and <laughs> painstaking about. <laughs> Mira, what about your chair? Remind us who you're playing for. Uh, so I'm playing for the, the United Nations Voluntary Trust Fund for Victims of Trafficking in Person. And that's a long statement, meaning basically this money goes to help people who are modern-day slaves. They are labor and sex trafficking victims. Um, there are 40 million, 40 million plus people living in the world today in bondage. Um, under, about 70% of them are women and girls, and 2 million of them are children who are exploited sexually. So uh, I've met so many of these survivors. This money goes directly to service organizations around the globe, very carefully vetted, of people on the ground helping rescue these people, helping gives them back their lives, helping giving them the tools to reclaim their happiness and their joy and their future. Thank you so much for using your voice to uh, Thank you. to kind of spotlight on that important issue. Lovely to have you back. Thank you. Budkarsh M. Budkar, originally from Baltimore. Now, of all the players here we saw in our first round, you made the biggest risks. You bet $7,000 on a daily double, mm -hmm. and that was what helped you put the game away in, in triple jeopardy. Do you believe in taking big chances out here? I, as I said, my wife doesn't let me gamble, so I might as well do it here. You're <laughs> fun. You're here for the cheap thrills you can't get into. Yeah, exactly. I want to shout out real quick yeah. my friends Alex and Lizzie. They're having their first child right now. Dez is on the way, little baby boy. So I love you guys, and I'll see you right after this. Well, let's hurry up and get out of this game so you can get to the hospital. Remind us who you're playing for. Carl. I'm playing for uh, SAG After Foundation, supporting the Emergency Financial Assistance and Disaster Relief Fund. And uh, most actors, whether you may or may not know, are working class people. Uh, we just kind of work check to check. And when there's no business, things can get a little tight. So hopefully we can make some money and help some people take care of their families. Keep people afloat in tough times. Yes. I love it. Well done. <laughs> Yeah, you're all off to a great start. Lisa and you have a very narrow lead, but you have control of the board. Go ahead and pick a category and dollar amount for it. Oh, goodness gracious. Let's close out one belly button, two nipples for 500, please. 